Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and I recently purchased a refurbished Jetson Bolt Pro in order to start my e-bike hobby. And it's a great bike to start with at under $300. You can buy them straight from their website, like I said, refurbished, which basically means I think they replaced the controller and the battery with a new one. The frame might have a couple of scratches on it. The seat might be used, but overall a great deal on an e-bike. And there's a ton of people out there that are modifying these. If you haven't yet, go check out the Facebook group, which has a ton of people talking about their modifications to this bike and making them go speeds I don't even want to mention in this video but this thing is a great bike to start with not only because of its budget but also because of its capabilities so today we're gonna to be talking about three methods to make it go faster and out of the box this thing isn't that slow it does about 13 miles an hour although it says it can do 15 miles an hour and the expected range is supposed to be 15 miles but it does more like 12 miles for me at least I'm six foot one I'm 180 pounds so I'm a bit bigger there's wind resistance there's weight and that makes the bike perform a little bit worse than it would say on the box but today like I said we have three ways to change that and the first one is gonna be the Arduino hack now these things used to have a little Bluetooth dongle inside of the bike that would allow you to connect it to your phone and you could change different settings on the bike including removing the speed limiter and allowing this bike to go more like 19 miles an hour but unfortunately they discontinued the app they stopped shipping them with the Bluetooth modules because of safety reasons and I, I get what they're saying it's a 14 inch wheel and the bike isn't that safe to go super fast but if you do want to go faster you can actually grab an Arduino board these are about $20 and you also need some breadboard pins to connect it to the controller and you can actually unlock the speed capabilities of this bike for that price of so 25 bucks and it, it's worth it to do it definitely makes the bike go faster for me it said it was supposed to do 19 miles an hour but it more realistically did 17 miles an hour and then the range is not going to change it might go down a little bit less because of course you're using more battery to go faster now the second way of making your jets and bolt go faster is going to be by changing out the controller itself the controller is what basically connects the battery to the motor and also the throttle and all that to tell the bike how fast to go and what what it can do so by upgrading the controller you can actually send more amps to the motor which would give it more torque but that necessarily isn't going to change the speed of it it will allow you to have no limiter so no matter what battery configuration you put inside the bike, you will be able to go whatever speed you want. And you also get a really cool LCD that has, you know, current speed, average, max. You also get a cool odometer, which shows me I'm almost at 450 miles on this thing. And, uh, you know, a ton of more features. It's customizable and it's nice to be able to see how fast you're going when you're riding. But again, the unlock speed on this thing is still just about 17 miles an hour. So same as the Arduino hack, but just a little bit more money at around $40. Now the installation on this new controller does require a little bit of wiring knowledge. You have to be able to solder some things around because the connectors do not line up. What I was able to do was I used some breadboard pins and I just kind of fashioned some connectors and taped them up. So I didn't have to do any soldering, but you do have to line up the colors on the wires and it can be a little complicated, but there are some video guides out there as well. If you want to buy one of these controllers already made and hooked up, uh, they do make them plug and play from a certain vendor that I'll link down below. And that's pretty cool, but it is more expensive expensive it's more like a hundred dollars for a plug-and-play controller but it does have the screen all the same features it's basically the same product just someone already did all the hard work for you now the last method of making your Jetson Bolt go faster and really unlocking the capabilities is gonna be doing a battery upgrade now my Jetson Bolt has a battery upgrade right now a lot of people would have one on a rack either behind the seat or in front of the seat but I was able to source one that fit inside of the case and I'm gonna link it down below it's a 48 volt 8 and amp hour battery. So not only does it let my Jetson Bolt go faster, but it does have more range as well. So while I have mine connected to the aftermarket controller, it should also work on the factory controller. Some people are using it. And I think the factory controller can maybe handle 52 or 60 volt systems as well, just like this controller can. They're, they're pretty similar. But on my Bolt Pro here, it'll now go 21 miles an hour on a full charge. Of course, that does go down a little bit as the battery drains, but same thing would happen on the 36 volt system. And and the full range is actually 15 miles now. And that's an extra three miles. Uh, but of course, like I said, for me, the biggest thing was not having an exposed battery to the elements and all that. This one fits inside the case really well. You do have to do a little bit of modifications in there, but I'd say it should have came like this out of the box, really. So those are the three ways to make your Jetson Bolt go faster. And I know a lot of you guys are out there searching, so I kind of just want to condense it into one video. If you do want more details, I'll put some in the description down below, or if you 
you want to see another video, let me know with a comment as well. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel because it would really help me out. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you next time.